Alright, welcome back to Against the Storm. Uh, it's been a pretty long break for me in between here, so I don't remember precisely what I was doing. I know this is a flooded mines map, and I was trying to take it a little slower. I had a little look around to try and remember what all I was doing, and figure out what I should do. And it looks like we're running out of food rather rapidly. And because it's flooded mines, I don't want to build up my hostility too much or expand too quickly. So I probably won't open anything this year. I will just focus on getting the food up and running because I'm not going to have a lot of labor available. Okay, I did, I did already put people into the woodcutters. I need to get a hearth up, and I need a trappers and a foragers up. In... Oh, I did not check for unusual corner. Okay, yeah, I was going to try to get blight engines running. I've got free mushrooms coming in. A bit of free amber. All right. just arrived so we won't be getting any more labor anytime soon do I need two people in here I have no planks so I probably do I also need to get a harvester going lots of things I need to get going there plantation I've already got an herb thing I'm about or herb garden so I don't need that uh, insects for mushrooms produced I'm getting mushrooms sent in that doesn't count Planting and farmers stuff. Farmers carrying goods. Might not be terrible. Hello. Planting crops 25% faster doesn't really matter. You generally get them planted. It's clearing them that hurts. I do have harpies, so I don't know that I need the extra five carry space as long as I've got a harpy in the hearth so looks like Jorg has nothing for me uh, beavers are at 13 out of 20 if I favor them and remove a couple of woodcutters we should be able to get them to 20 real soon that we're gonna run out of coats they're getting a plus five from coats he does not have any coats for sale maybe I buy a few pickles to get the beavers over temporarily I have eight coats left that'll last at least two minutes yeah, there's only five people using coats here, or do the harpies use coats? Harpies do as well. Okay, so I have eight people using coats. I should be good for two minutes. I only need this for 30 seconds. Should be fine.
Oh, I only have a small trap or not a large. Doggone it. I need food badly enough. I think I'd better replace that with another forager. Harpy in there, the harpies are in the supplier and the Yeah, I don't think I need that other harpy running right now. I can just leave one person in here doing planks now. I should try to work towards this forbidden and this dangerous, so I'll get the hearth as close up in here as I can. Only got planks, so I really need somebody in here building fabric and bricks. with six procs I'll get at least one bonus one that'll only take a little over three minutes plus a break this harpy should just about finish ten if I'm only at eight or nine when it starts that's fine they'll still manage to finish it up and clear things off although it wouldn't hurt to get the garden and the park up I've been forgetting to do this lately Ten percent global production speed would be quite nice. Yeah. Oh wow, if I had enough planks, I could just crank out four fox houses up there, and the foxes would be bringing me resolve. do need lots of planks.
haven't built any provisions yet because I wanted to get the manufactory up. I'm getting three people either way. The leather will help me get water skins, so we'll go with the leather. That does put me one person over. Uh, we only need housing for that. Leakage doesn't matter. So I don't need to get down below two until things are about to go bad. Which admittedly didn't take very long. What are we at? Hostility 10. I've only opened one glade, right? Yeah, I've only opened one glade, so a fox will not get me down to one. So I'm going to have to remove a woodcutter, but not that one. That one. Because I want this one chopping our way into here. Need to find some more food sources before we start starving. A uh, very mediocre coal mine, large broccoli, guild house. That's a that got nerfed recently. It now requires 75 amber for global resolve. It used to be 50, I believe. It was 50 or 60, I can't remember for sure. But it took a little nerf, but it's still a great building. Plus, we have both the beavers and the foxes like luxury, so if we get a chance to serve some wine, that would be great. So that's a very nice building to have found. Still takes a ton of planks to build, though, so it'll be a while. Ancient Shrine. I could give up all my tools or I could just loot it. If I loot it, I get a bunch of bricks. Free incense for producing roots. I'm getting roots out of the herb garden. So that seems like a pretty good choice. 300 hostility. We'll have to wait until after the storm. <clears throat> Large herbalist. Don't, no, I don't have any large camps, which probably means I need to be opening some small glades to find food because we're gonna starve to death. Too much of the glade, too much of the food in the dangerous glades is from large camps. I was hoping for some more fertile soil there, but no such luck. So try and find some fertile soil and open small glades. Do I want the Storm Geyser? It would only be good for the manufactory right now. That doesn't matter that much. I don't want to give up 46 amber just to gain 15 every time someone arrives, so we're not taking that. Family gratitude, the water skins would not be bad. If I, I've got a granary, so I want to be producing pickled goods. And there's leather is not easy to come by in the coral forest. So I might take that. Let's check, these. check this first. Three rebuilds or two empathies.
Empathies can be hard to come by, but so can rebuilds. I've got one rebuild here. But only one. This is a bad choice either way. I'm not going to pick either of these right now. If I find an empathy event, then I'll take this side. Otherwise, if I find another ruins or two, I'll take this side. Otherwise, I'll wait the 12 minutes to pick anything. Uh, you have a large trapper. I need a large trapper. You have a large herbalist. That wouldn't be terrible. But herbs, herbalist is not that great in the coral forest. Herbs are the only thing you get. So... There are two large herb nodes here. It's not terrible because I've already found two, but it's not nearly as important as the trapper, so yeah. get the trapper first. Now, I might get the herbalist as well. At the very least, it'll take one more blueprint out of the pool. Um... Wildfires. I'm getting two more wildfires here. Yana. If I sell one wildfire, I can still put up two more hearths. Maybe I'll go for a four hearth village to help combat that villager hostility. I rarely go beyond three, but we can go for four this time, perhaps. And I would like to get three amber so that I can buy that herbalist. I don't want to give up ancient tablets yet, because sometimes that last... Uh, that last order that comes in can have an order that requires like three or four ancient tablets, so I don't like to get rid of these until I've seen all my orders. Grab the herbalist. <coughs> All right, now I need to get a warehouse going up here. Then I can drop that trappers in. Should be able to demolish one of these foragers soon. Maybe I have this one help with these vegetables down here. Once this first one is gone, I can, yeah, four more charges on that, and then I can fit that in there. And then I'll collect these once I get the warehouse going up here. I think I'll just take Family Gratitude rather than taking a chance on rerolls, although I am out of Amber now, so I could take the 10 Amber, but I th think I'll get more out of the Water Skins, especially since the Foxes should be getting me some Resolve with all these Fox Hoses up. One point short on the Foxes. Get a granary going, start some pickled goods, and we'll be getting somewhere. And I'm completely out of wood. If I don't turn on coal, I'm in trouble. Do I have no contact, or did I just not have any wood? 
I mean, not no contact, uh, no quality control. I do not have no quality control, so I just ran out of wood. Even though I was running quite a few woodcutters there. Uh, that's one too many until this event is done. in there for the bonus. Drizzle water. I wish I had noticed that. I could have gotten those rain collectors going. It's going to be too late now. I don't have. Do I have a? I have a clearance geyser. Okay, there's a drizzle geyser here. Do I have planks? Yes. Let's get that up and running. Collector will increase the tank capacity to a hundred. This should be about done. Start getting some extra free incense in addition to the incense I get from the trees. Unfortunately, I don't have anything that requires anything that can benefit from religion, but incense is still useful for events and occasionally trade routes, so I'm sure I'll find a use for it. And I'm not currently turning herbs into porridge, so I should make some packs out of this. pickled goods out of water skins than either of these, but I will turn these on. There are some things that do better with barrels, so I will use barrels last. I don't know if there's anything that does better with pottery or not. Probably, I just can't think of one off the top of my head. I think ale does better with barrels. But anyway, water skins are best, so favor those. Oh, I'm supposed to be producing fabric in there, not here. You don't do fabric. Well, that's very unfortunate. You're also not doing wood. I can return that. I do need 25 packs of crops eventually, which I will make from all of these roots, but I need to find more fertile soil first. So yeah, this greenery is going to have a lot of things to do. I will probably hook up a drizzle water for that after I've delivered this 100 here. <clears throat> Well, I've got plenty of bricks. You're done for now. I need people in here.
low on food. I have not managed to do anything about that. Producing some porridge. Actually, I don't really need to start producing porridge because the foxes are going to be eating the pickles as well. Unless I forbid them the pickles, but that's going to really hurt their resolve. Oops, that skewer's not pickles. Where's pickles? Yeah, they would be minus four if I forbid them the pickles. I can spare two tools. I need 15 for a cache. versus tea house tea house gets me two star porridge and I've got two people two races that want tea so that's a fairly easy pick and that means I don't need you for porridge although it means I need a few more plunkey okay. that got me the planks I needed tea. Water skins are being done in the supplier. sense coming in and I might not need it so I will take this I'll keep the 30 scrolls I have two people that like education 30 scrolls is how many you need for an event so 
If I need it for that, I can use it. The herbs, I'm kind of desperate for food right now, so I will keep the herbs to turn into porridge myself. I don't want to start making it until I've got enough water coming in to not use the drizzle water. Cannot run even one wood cutter. The drizzle water will gain me hostility because I'm below 5.5. So I'm going to lose an impatience. Impatience is worth 15 points. That'll put me at 92. That's fine. I can turn that in. Get another building, see what we got. Well, the tea doctor goes real well with the tea house I just got. On the other hand, tools are also fantastic. And I need coats for two of my places. <laughs> I need both of these rather badly. Oh, one moment here. don't know which one of these two I should take. I guess I go with the smithy. I think it's a little safer pick. Tools are always useful, but I'm, I'm more likely to get another tool building than I am another treatment building. Oh, this is not the easiest pick. Am I getting... I'm not getting any buildings that help with either of those. I just can't pass up the smithy as much as I want that tea doctor. I've got to have it. All right, if I take any more people, I am unable to get down below level two. So if I'm going to do that, I need to be certain I can get complex foods coming in here. Vegetables, mushrooms, roots. Let's turn meat on. Vegetables. Mushrooms, roots, turn all those off as I will turn those into pickles. Also, berries and eggs. Which means the harpies can only be eating the meat. Insects. I need to get that trapper going. That'll make sure the harpies don't starve. I need five parts. I need one of these foragers gone.
think Woodcutters wins here. Meat spec is all right in Coral Forest. You might find some. You might find meat on its own, and you're also getting meat from trees, so you can get meat spec going in the Coral Forest. But I haven't found any meat yet, and getting it out of trees takes quite a while, so. Plus, if you get it out of the trees, then you're slowing down your wood production. And wood production is a problem in the coral forest sometimes. I need to find a coal mine, preferably better than this two coal here. And now I need to pick one of these. I'll open a glade first, see if I find an empathy event. Move speed is always nice. Fabric is solid. Furniture is good. There's a lot of good stuff here. I'll take the fabric. That'll help me make building materials. What? More leather for water skins. find a dangerous glade I can open so I can build more hearths. I need space. There's too many small glades around. Open this forbidden glade. I can just barely fit a hearth in way up top. That's not the greatest location. It would work fine over here, but there's way too many trees in the way to get to that glade right now. probably doesn't show up too well on the video it's a very faint I'm checking the little orange outline of where the hearth goes so you can I can I would have to get down to this glade to fit a hearth down here that's not as much cutting though I can cut into this small glade fast and still get into this I was gonna go for that forbidden, but I think I want the space for the hearth, so I'm going to cut in cut in down here first. I'll get this and this dangerous glade open, do those two this year, and maybe do the forbidden next year. I got eight workers available. Do I have anybody who's not needed? Really, I'd say all of those are pretty essential right now. They're not paying well enough for me to give you pickles. That's not a great rate on do when I can be turning it into tools. That's a decent rate on the mushrooms. I don't have a lot of mushrooms. I forgot 
I don't have enough amber to open both of these. I need two more amber. 27 seconds, I'll get four amber. All right, that's fine. It'll take me 27 seconds to cut into that. What did we get in here? Just a little bit of meat. If we do get in here before the trade route had completed, we have the new payment system, so you can delay paying for a little bit, so it doesn't matter that much, but... Unfortunately, I'm not going to get in before that trader leaves, so hopefully I don't need anything that the trader might have sold me. Cash. Got a much better coal mine. Finally got some good coal here. Another drizzle geyser. Small foods, small reeds, large insects, and large broodmother, both of which I can do. This is a very good glade. This glade will set us up for victory. Alright. Uh, I've got just enough coal to burn you down. Or I can do this empathy thing with tools. I did not find a rebuild in here, so I didn't find a rebuild. I did find an empathy. I'll take a chance on finding one more empathy. And now I can look at this last one, find out that I don't need the tablets for anything, so I can get rid of those. Uh, neither of these is particularly easy. It's more likely I will be able to fulfill 20 educations than 20 brawls. I either need nine more foxes for this or six more harpies plus beavers for this. So this is definitely the side. Plus I don't want five extra people in the flooded mines. I already have some scrolls, so I shouldn't need to buy too many more to hopefully be able to get that done. cannot produce scrolls yet. I need a pair of foxes. Yeah. And now I'm out of tools. Parts for this mine and on coral forest. I don't like to drop below three woodcutters if I can avoid it. Part rewards. I don't have any parts coming in. I guess for a coal mine and the coal mine that good, I'm going to have to destroy the woodcutter here. To wait for the mound to be removed to have a convenient place for the hearth it looks like
because I need all those scrolls now for this knowledge thing, I don't want to sell the incense unless I've got a bunch of it. Because I might need 30 of a luxury item for an event, so I'm not going to sell that incense. Or that incense. Musol only needs six amber to reach the next level. I will sell that for six amber. I can produce my own tools eventually, so I'll take this as well. did want to get this granary going here. We needed to get some blight cysts going for this cornerstone down here, the counterfeit amber. So let's get this going. Uh, year five. Fuel is starting to recover. <coughs> and I've got that coal mine now, so it should be all right on the fuel. on coal rather than wood, preferably. Um, I need some housing swarms is going to hurt. I don't have time to wait until I can get that next hearth up, so I need to drop a shelter in. I'm three houses short. Shelter will take care of that. Never even started collecting those herbs. Need to get on that. Very awkward trying to fit things in here. I cannot reach that right now. I really need that particular tree removed. <laughs> And because I'm so low on parts, I'm probably just going to upgrade this mine right away. I'm not sure I'll be able to put up another warehouse down here, so I'm probably going to go with the automated mine cart because I've got a ways to travel. houses going. Mm, I 
Dixo needs another seven amber. Now well, this will conveniently get me there, so I'll use that. ACO is not even started. I'm not sure I want to give up vegetables, though I have a finite number and I'm using them for pickled goods. I haven't found more fertile soil for more roots. We do have quite a few water skins. Musol is not even close to a level, though. They're paying pretty well for the coal. And the scrolls and the vegetables, as said, I don't want to sell right now, so... I even want any more newcomers in a flooded mine map, at least certainly not until I start getting more hearths up. Well, this termite needs to move. I'm getting five insects per minute out of that. Let's move you up here for decorations. Four harmony decorations there. This is never going to reach level three because I want to build two more low level ones. I'm going to be cannibalizing all of those people into other hearths, so. have housing to take those newcomers yet. Baptism of fire, no quality control. I really like no quality control. Baptism of fire, I am trying to do some blight engine stuff, so this is very synergistic. I'm just gonna take it. This is one of my favorite cornerstones. So, I'm giving something up for this synergy pick, dang it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take the side that only has four people rather than six. I don't even care what they're bringing. The 14 coats are kind of worthless. I'm going to turn off coat consumption for now. The minus one shouldn't hurt too bad. Eventually, I'll get the smithy going and can produce some coats here. Five unemployed bodies. I really need six for the woodcutters. What can I take out? I don't need you running the geyser pump. The drizzle geyser is being covered by the rain collector. I'm just keeping the rain collector going full time because of the porridge waters. So I only need this when drizzle starts to get low. So that gets me six bodies for woodcutters. No, oh, I had one in there already. Good, that leaves me one builder for 
the hearth and the paths. Oh, smugglers, it's always nice to get the contraband, but I don't think I can get that much more money in here. No, even if I sold everything I had, I would not get to 84. Clearance duration is nice. That helps me clear those farms. I will take clearance duration happily. That's my favorite of the duration ones. <clears throat> and as long as I'm on the subject of these duration cornerstones, I would advise you never to take the one that shortens storm duration unless you have a specific reason. Like on this map, it wouldn't be that bad. But shortening storm duration just means that your number of years goes up quicker and your hostility goes up quicker. Now on this map that wouldn't matter because I'm not getting any hostility from years because of the flooded mines modifier. But generally, unless the storm is really punishing you, I would not take shorter storm duration. to 18 people now so I can get this clothing fulfilled thing done if I get the smithy running. Unfortunately that means I need more labor. Uh, yeah I can't take this guy out I need those 15 cysts. 15 fire there's gonna be a bunch of cysts coming in 10 more cysts plus whatever I generate on my own. I don't have enough parts to build a blight post do I? I might have to turn this off for now because I can't build if I get beyond like 14 or 15 cysts I like to put down a temporary blight post but I don't have enough parts to do that so I'm going to stop at 12 cysts I can definitely handle 12 cysts with just three workers I think I can handle about 14 or so Depends on what level you get your hearths up to. Ooh, this one's short a person. Did not realize we were short a person up there. I forgot that I had built some early fox houses. I just assumed I hadn't. done on fuel. I'll turn this back down to eight. Favoring the Harpies isn't getting me anywhere. This will get the Foxes back up into Resolve territory. I've got tons of fabric so I can start producing those building materials. I should burn wood instead of coal so I can get this done. Do I have a better building materials than the post? I do not. 
12 packs made out of fabric. I also never got the manufactory going for the packs of provisions here. I need three full shelters, I need two more full shelters that don't have harpies in them. second to start this up just to save a little bit more fuel three star porridge I've already got two star I've already got the pickled goods barrels maybe Wine would be good. I have a guild house. I have two people that want wine. I don't have a wine building. That's the winner. It would be nice to get a harvester camp built and collect those reeds there and here, but I don't have the parts. This is why I always favor parts. I just never seem to have enough. There is enough room to move you closer to the insects now. Leave trade goods on with pigment, make a few pigments in the manufactory maybe. Yeah, I've got tons of insects. I'll make some pigments as well.
it would be more efficient to make this from planks, but I don't have a ton of labor, so I'm just going to use the raw wood, I guess. Although I'm going to have fuel problems, I've got to do it from planks, actually. of things I want to do in the smithy. It uses storm water. I'm going to have to open this and get some storm water geyser going as well, I think. I don't care much about storm walker trading, generous gifts. I don't even want to collect my newcomers right now. I'll spend one. Do I want the amber? I've got 30 amber. Let's see if there's anything I want to buy. Smokehouse, I have tons of insects, so I could get jerky going for the harpies. That seems reasonable. In which case, I do want the amber so that I can bust into a glade here. And I wish I had actually busted into this glade at the end of the storm. By the time everybody walks up here, breaks into this, I'm going to be about a minute into minute into the drizzle. That's a little risky. I might be running this event during the storm, and I don't want that to happen. I would do it if it wasn't a flooded mines modifier, but because I'm not taking any penalty on years other than the score that I'm going to lose, I will wait until next year to open that. I'll just open this one. Cutters. One of them is in the blight post. to be producing that much porridge only the foxes are eating it I'll leave the fox in there because they like it in there I need these planks to rebuild the guild house so I need two people in there I've got tons of insects I can lose one of those Gets me to five woodcutters. I need one more from somewhere. Can't take them out of the granary. The granary's busy. And speaking of which, I should turn the granary's blight stuff back on. if it's worth I might turn it all the way up just for this counterfeit amber not sure that's worth it but whatever person in the rain collector I would like to get another one in there fine I need the newcomers 
There's only five on that side. I'll take that side. The grain can get turned into porridge. I do have enough housing for everyone. That's why I was building those beaver houses to collect those. All right, I need the building materials done. Turning those into tools, three packs is a little expensive. I don't want to sell vegetables. I should probably be turning off. Oh, they are limited to 11. I just happen to have 18 because I have so many people in here. All right. Trade packs at 10, I think. I doubt I'll get more than that for a trade route. person not doing anything. Is building up fast. That seems like a lot faster than 20%. I was expecting to hit five total and it looks like I'm gonna hit ten total just off of this one building. So that's going back down. Yeah, I thought I would only hit like five at most six reserves here, but I got six in one season. Six cysts. Hmm. All right, there's a bunch of coats. have enough coats to last four minutes at least 54 coats I need 40 to last four minutes yeah, this has to last for two minutes and because of the way they take their breaks sporadically it might have to last for up to three minutes and 59 seconds to get everybody clothed or something like that I don't know So I should be able to do this now. That'll get me plus two coats. Then I can start producing them. All right, time to turn on coats, I think. And the foxes got me a point. They are no longer getting me anything, so I might as well favor the harpies and put them over. They got a wine building, the kiln. One star bricks is better than what I've got. 
I'm, I've got a decent coal mine. I don't really need the kiln for coal, and I've got pressure on my wood for planks. So kiln isn't that great in the coral forest, I don't feel. I'll reroll, try to find a treatment building. Come on, treatment. No. Three star bricks at least. I guess I'll take three star bricks. Stop producing bricks. not turn off building materials. Well, I've got a ton of fabric. It doesn't hurt to produce more building materials for trade, but I don't need two people in here doing that. Musal needs 10 amber to reach the next level. They can have all of those. I'm doing all right on food now. to keep these videos slightly shorter I will probably take a break here as soon as I finish this new clothes plan on getting into this at the start of the next video well I won't take a break I'm gonna keep right on going but I will pause the video at least to get in here I forgot about that and what is our new building flower better building materials scrolls I do need a scroll building even if it's a bad one so rain mill it is right away before that storm hits. Of course, they're busy delivering right now. Come on, hurry up and get in here. What are you doing? Why are they cutting that when I marked this? Okay, this makes no sense. That is clearly marked. These clearly are not marked. Just in case I will... There, that's clearing those. And they are still heading up there. Okay, well, now I have to pause and make a bug report. I don't know why they aren't going in here. Alright, well, it's a good time to pause. I will have to take a little break here and throw down a bug report in the Discord, I guess. Alright, see y'all in a bit. <laughs> 